Remember the last video where I did a review on the Q case that I just bought? Uh, J Flowers soft case? Well, someone took notice and I was given a gift. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So it has finally happened. I have been approached by a Q manufacturer to do a review on their product. So when I went and bought my soft case from Andy at J Flowers, he's, you know, associated with that brand and he has nothing but nice things to say about that brand because, you know, he's associated with that brand. He's not going to, you know, talk poorly about them. Um, I kind of figured he had something in the works. He calls me up and he says, hey, if you're not doing anything today, it was kind of a rain day. I think he knew I wasn't going to be working. And uh, he said, come by my work. I've got a gift for you. I said, oh, a gift. Okay, I'll be right there. This is what happened. Hey bud, Dad. how's it going? Good, you? Yeah. Good, good. Hey, I got a present for you, buddy. A gift. Oh. So I brought this for you. A Q. A Q. J Flowers. I want you to just give this an honest review. Be brutally honest. No strings. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Um, I have to say this for the viewers of the channel. You said brutally honest, I'm going to be honest, okay? Brutally honest. No strings attached. Nope, no strings attached. Okay. Let okay. me know what you think. All right. Okay. Thanks, man. No problem. Okay. So, that is how I was approached to do this review on this pool cue. So, I was very honest with Andrew right then and there. I know, I owe no allegiances to anybody, right? I don't get paid, so I'm going to give an honest review here. But here's the thing. I am not a person who has ever shot with a carbon fiber shaft. I have shot pool with my beautiful, lovely Hubler since 1994. So that's almost three decades. It's a long time to be faithful to one cue. But like I said in the last video, I'm gonna be spicing things up, right? So important to note, this is not a low deflection shaft. I have never shot with a low deflection shaft. So when I give this review, I'm not gonna be bringing out instruments like scales. I'm not gonna be bringing out uh, a measuring tape to measure anything. Uh, I'm not gonna be going in depth like that because those videos, they've already been done, okay? I'm not, I don't know enough about pool cues to be a reputable person to tell you yay or nay because of how many millimeters are here and, and how much it weighs there. That's not me. I'll tell you what I am. Like I said, I've shot with a standard shaft for the last 28 years, okay? So I want to be able to say to you, does it make a difference in the game? I wanna know if by me going from a standard shaft to a low deflection carbon fiber shaft, if it is increasing the sweet spot of the equipment that I'm using. So Andy had a good analogy. Tennis players, if you compare a tennis racket from the 50s to a tennis racket today, obviously the sweet spot of that tennis racket is much larger, right? The margin for error is much greater, okay? Uh, golf, many sports, the equipment has improved in quality and it's assisted players to do things that they couldn't do before okay now on the table here i'm going to be looking at some very specific shots and i'm actually going to be shooting those shots with my hubler and i'm going to be hitting them with the j flowers q okay and i'm going to compare that and from that data this is going to be very scientific I'm going to tell you yay or nay. If you're a person like me who's never shot with a carbon fiber shaft, I mean, right now, J Flowers' calling card is 
their price. They're trying to burrow into the market and everyone who's associated with this Q brand says that they are underpriced, right? You go buy a Predator, uh, you can buy a Mez, and you're spending more than, more than this, this whole Q, just on the shaft, not even a butt, okay? So quickly, we're gonna take a look at the Q. Uh, I'm not gonna go in depth, like I said, on the weight and all that jazz, but then we're gonna get right to the table and we're, I'm gonna be executing some shots. And I wanna know if my margin for error or my execution is increasing with this low deflection carbon fiber shaft. So let's take a look at the Q. Okay, let's get to the brass tacks. What have they sent me? They have sent me the Sabre 2 Black Lizard Wrap model of their next generation Q. So what are we looking at here? So this is an overlay Q. So those of you who don't know the difference between overlay and inlay, overlay is, I don't want to say cheaper, it's just more of a something they put on top of the queue, whereas inlay they actually cut into the queue and then they glue in um, inlay work. So that that's when it gets really, really expensive. So this is overlay. So this basically the low, I mean, an easiest way to say is it's just a sticker, right? But um, me feeling this queue, you cannot tell. It's actually really high quality. On the back end here, I want to say that uh, this bumper on the bottom of the queue, it's, it's a harder rubber than uh, what I'm used to with the, uh, with the Hubler. I move along here, and uh, this is one thing I really, really like about this queue is the Black Lizard Wrap. I love, I love that. Like if I bring, I'm gonna bring my Hubler in here just to show you guys. That's pretty much exactly what I like playing with here. So I am not blowing smoke up your ass. Um, that's what I like to play with. That's what I like to feel. And uh, Jay Flowers, thank you very much for giving me that. Uh, you lucked out, didn't you? Um, again, intricate work like this, inlay work, that would be thousands of dollars, right? But this is overlay. This cue here, jflowerscues.com is $360, I think, which is insanely cheap, I think, for getting something of this quality with a carbon fiber shaft. When you compare it to the competition out there, check this out here. They've got J Flowers engraved on the carbon fiber shaft. And it, uh, that's one thing about this cue that Andy pointed out is uh, the J Flowers logo on the bottom lines up with that. So those, when you, when you tighten up those cues with this cue, they should line up. You feel the joint, everything is tight in there and everything is lining up. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna keep moving down the shaft. So the, obviously this is a carbon fiber shaft. This is what I am testing today because I have very little experience shooting in them. Also, uh, this is an option actually on the jflowerscues.com site. This is a white uh, site. I don't know what they call it. It's for people who don't like the back, the black ferrule, apparently, right? It, it distracts them. So if they bring in a little bit of white, much like the older cues, right? The older cues always had a white ferrule. Well, now they've got this white, a little bit of white in there to help them shoot. So to each their own. I don't think it would bother me if I just had a black ferrule, but uh, who knows? I've never shot with just a black ferrule, so maybe they're helping me out. So let's talk a little bit about deflection here because you're gonna be hearing about that in this video. All right, have you ever heard about toothpaste? Have you ever watched a commercial where they say, we've got the best cavity fighting toothpaste ever to hit the market, it fights plaque and tartar buildup, it's the best. And they make you wonder why you, you could even survive without it, right? What were they doing this whole time? Well, Q-shaft manufacturers, in my opinion, same deal, okay? You can't take it all, all the deflection, all the squirt out of the game here. You don't want to go there. It's part of the game. We can't change the laws of physics. And these Q companies, they can't change the laws of physics either. 
we're hitting a spear. That's what our cue ball is, okay? And we're not gonna get away from it. But I think what you're gonna see in this video is, does it make a difference? Have we increased our sweet spot? I think we have. Okay, here we go. We're at the table now. I've set up three specific shots here. I've got reinforcements on the table. So I can set up the same shot and repeat the same position. Now understand, I am not a robot, okay? But I'm gonna do my damnedest to try to hit it with the same power and put the same amount of English on the cue ball, okay? So first position is going to be here. I'm just gonna be shooting that ball into the corner. I'm gonna be trying some running English and I'm gonna see how it feels. Both cues, the standard shaft and the J Flowers carbon fiber shaft. The second one, we're gonna ramp it up a bit. I'll put a cue, put a ball there. There'll be another pretty relatively easy shot, a straight shot and I wanna juice it with a little bit of inside cue ball off the rail and bring it down to the front of the table. And then the final shot, and this is the one where I really wanna test this carbon fiber shaft. This is the one where I wanna see if I'm increasing the margin of error because it's when we power through shots that are at a distance that we need, we really need to start thinking about our, our I call it a cost benefit analysis, right? Are the risks, the risk benefit analysis, right? Are the risks outweighing the, the potential rewards here of powering through a shot, right? If this is gonna take down my margin of error, then shots like this shot, where I can potentially shoot inside, power through and manufacture shape, even outside and try to kill the cue ball, well, now we're talking. Now we're talking a jump in technology here, right? Is it like the tennis racket where we've gotten that much better because of the technology that we're using, okay? So let's start out with the simple running English shot. And I am going to be using the J Flowers carbon fiber shaft. So, you know, I haven't showed you guys here, but I mean, this just feels solid. It feels good, guys. So let's see how it performs. So this is going to be hammering it through and I'm gonna be playing outside. Pretty elementary stuff, but the hit feels solid. Can I reproduce it now? Floating pretty close to going into that corner and scratching every time here. So we're taking note of that. So all three times, you know, my cue ball, I hit it at the same weight, or think I did, and it all, all three of them pretty much came over to that corner, close to scratching. So let's see how the Hubie does. Another thing I never told you guys here is my cloth, I understand, um, it is old. It needs to be reclothed. I keep saying that and I do have to spend the money and get it done. But both these cues are playing on an even playing surface. So let's see where the hubler goes. Same spot, right? Same spot. So I'm not noticing much of a difference. One last time. So the difference between the two shafts, when you're shooting a shot with that short of a distance, um, 
I'm just not seeing much of a difference there. And you guys saw it, right? Uh, hit it the same way, same amount of juice. I'm getting the same result. Let's change up the shot. Alrighty, so we're gonna set up shot two. Very simple. Object ball there, cue ball there. We're gonna switch back to the J flowers. And I'm gonna be hitting with bottom right. I'm gonna be juicing back to this side rail. And then coming back to the head rail. Love the feel of a new shaft. This feels really nice. Zing. My felt or my, uh, my cloth that I have on my table, it's really worn. Like I said, I got a lot of action on that one. I was surprised. Zing. Last shot. Oh, I miss hit that a bit. Kind of swerved over, but I still got a lot of action. I still came back past that head string. Not bad, not bad. I switched to the Hubie. Let's see how the Hubie does. All right. Not making it quite as far. Barely made it to the center. Try again. Got good one on that. Just creeps over the headstring. Just one more time. there just to the headstring again so I did notice a little bit of a difference now between those two cues so you saw that with greater ease and I I mean I, I'm shooting the exact same shot I feel like I'm hitting it the same weight every shot again I'm not a machine but I feel like I'm in it the same and on this old cloth I seem to be going a little bit further with the carbon fiber shaft than the standard shaft. So um, I was executing, I would say a little bit better with the carbon fiber shaft, but here's the true test, shot number three. Let's set it up. Okay, here's the final shot. And this is the one, what I'm, truly interests me here, because this is the shot where, <clears throat> We need to start doing that calculation in our head if we want to manufacture something crazy, right? So we've got a bit of distance here on the table. And remember, when we increase distance and we increase power, so much more risk is being introduced into the equation, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to be introducing lots of power. I've introduced the distance, right? There's a big distance between the object ball and the corner that I'm going to, and there's distance here, right? So this is a risky shot. Let's start it, um, let's play the shot with outside, right? So if I'm shooting outside, I'm gonna try to kill the cue ball.
saw with that third shot some crazy, crazy action happening. With this shaft, I mean, I was just trying to kill it. I thought it would end up down here and come back, but no. <laughs> I hit it so well that it would come off the side rail and one of them almost actually went back to that side rail and scratched, right? Um, I was getting lots of action with this shaft. It felt great. And normally on a shot with that amount of distance, I perhaps would have shied away from attempting something like that if I was in a match. The Hubler, I was able to execute it um, without even missing. However, I wasn't getting as much action, right? And I was not getting as much of a kill on the cue ball like I was getting with the J Flowers cue. So uh, hats off, hats off J Flowers. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. Um, let's get the easy stuff out of the way. Looks great, okay? Um, not my style. Um, you saw my Hubler. I mean, I just like seeing the woods. Minimal inlay work. Um, this is, to my eye, too busy. But that's just me. That's a personal taste thing. I'm not um, the overlay un or inlay work. I mean, I'm not an inlay person either, right? I, I don't like it busy. So this is too busy for me. But I cannot tell the difference whether this was inlay or overlay. I can't tell. Um, the wrap, I love. You know, that's what I usually play with anyway. So you lucked out there, J Flowers. None of that really matters though. The playability matters and the quality matters. This uh, joint is tight. Uh, I'm a good half inch out and there's still no wobble on this, which is very good. Um, you can see them. It's tight. I like that. Feels good in the hands. Nice weight, this is a 19 ouncer. I usually play with an 18. Lighter the better for me. If I go to a bar and I play with a bar cue, I, I look for a 17 if I could. But this is really nice. Um, now, what really counts is uh, the performance. And you guys saw, um, really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter on the shorter ones, you know. On this short shot over here, same result. Second shot, I got a lot more action with the carbon fiber shaft. Um, and then the third shot, that's where my mind is actually pretty blown. Um, does it increase my margin of error? Do I have more of a chance to make it? I believe I do. Um, yeah, it was coming off the side rail, like I said, and almost scratching. I was really killing that cue ball. And that's exciting to me because that shot, I, I probably in a, in, a, in a match, I would shy away from. And now maybe I don't. Um, so what do I recommend? I gotta think carefully about this. Um, if you're a person that has played with carbon fiber shafts, you know what I'm talking about and you obviously like them and uh, because you're already playing with them. If you're a player like me who had a standard shaft before and are thinking about getting into this market, this is what I recommend. jflowercues.com. You can get a Q, this is less than $400. I think it's $360 American. Um, they'll ship it right to your door. Um, just wet your beak. Wet your beak and uh, take on this product. Um, see if you like it. There may be a more of an adjustment period for you. Um, there is a, a bit of an adjustment. You have to, I mean, it's different. It's taken a little of the deflection away. Okay, but um, this is a quality product. Um, I recommend it, okay? And uh, I'll say it, I said it at the beginning, I'll say it again. Um, I owe J Flowers nothing, okay? And I was honest from the start, I'd give an honest review. You saw the results on the table, okay? Um, it's measurable and we've got a result and it's a favorable one. So if you have never shot with a carbon fiber shaft or if you do shoot with carbon fiber shafts and you wanna add one to your toolkit, um, jflowerscues.com. Go there. Pick it up. Um, I like it. That is all I have. So uh, in the meantime, and in between time, I'll catch you on the flip side.